Bonjour. So I want to take a little look at uh, this section uh, 1D in Les Endroits, uh, both from an audio perspective in terms of how to pronounce things and also in terms of a grammar perspective here dealing with some prepositions. So first of all, um, throughout your French course, make sure you always have your headphones on every day. Um, and that you're practicing the language actually out loud as much as possible. That's the best way to learn uh, French or any other spoken language is just simply by practicing speaking. So when you click on these expressions such as près de, which means close to or near, it plays it with the audio so you pronounce it as well. Près de. Loin de. You know, make sure you really turn up the microphone or turn up the, the volume rather as, as loud as you can or as, as loud as you need to to be able to hear it properly and really pronounce it because French is written so different than it sounds, right? That looks like the English word loin, but don't say loin de, it's loin de, okay? The second thing down here, um, you're learning some expressions uh, with prepositions and you're learning the difference between when to use de la or du. They both mean of the or from the, but we use this de la when it's um, when it's a feminine noun, so using la for the, but when it's a masculine noun, when it uses le, and de and le is combined, it forms the contraction du, okay? Um, and it's not a, unlike English with contractions, which are optional, you know, you can say cannot or can't, Either one's fine. In French, they're not optional. You would never say de le, but du. And so you may, as you read this, you may be asking yourself, well, gee, um, okay, I get that when it's, when I have to say from the, and the the is le, it has to be du. But how do I know whether to use le or la with each noun? In other words, how do I know when a noun is masculine or feminine? Now I want to show you a little trick with that. We're going to scroll up and go to dictionaries. And this is really handy. This shows you everything you're learning in the unit, all words. This is kind of a French to English dictionary of just the vocabulary in this unit. And then um, underneath of that, it goes the other way. It goes English to French. So you can, you know, alphabetical order in English, and then we see the French. Well, right away, you'll see that the if it's a noun, such as cinéma, it has the le with it that tells us it's a masculine noun. So it's, it's le cinéma, the movie theater, the cinema, but the the is le, not la. So it's a masculine noun by default. Whereas circulation, which means traffic, has la with it. It's a feminine noun. All nouns always have a gender in, in French, and they stay the same for the most part. You know, circulation is always la circulation. Um, Cinema is always le cinema. It wouldn't be it wouldn't become a feminine noun. It is a masculine noun. So when you memorize and learn the vocabulary, don't just learn cinema, but learn le cinema, and that will help you understand. Therefore, when we go back to where we just were, if I want to say like, um, you know, la boucherie, you know, if I want to talk about that and I want to say that it's far from the movie theater. La boucherie est loin du cinéma. That helps me know that I need to choose du, right? Because I already know that cinéma is masculine. It uses le in de plus le down here. Always is du. So, in short, make sure you're practicing with the audio. Always have headphones or speakers on. Talk out loud. Um, secondly, as you're learning nouns, make sure you memorize not just the noun, but the gender, the le or la that goes with it. And then thirdly, that will help you form the correct contraction down here. If anybody has any questions on this or would like some more practice with it, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to do that with you. Thanks so much for watching.